Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to answer the question, what is a pad in audio? Today we're gonna to talk about what a pad is in audio. Basically, a uh, pad kind of comes into play if you're struggling with uh, distortion or too high of audio signal or levels going into different inputs on a mixer. A pad is basically uh, your best friend there. Pad stands for passive uh, attenuation device, which basically reduces the strength of an incoming audio signal. So here today I have the Yamaha MG06X mixer, uh, which basically has a pad on um, each of its microphone level inputs. And that pad is basically a 26 decibel cut. Um, so essentially that button allows you to drop down your signal by 26 decibels. So why would you need a pad? Well, for example, if you're using a dynamic microphone near a very, very loud source, sometimes a snare drum or a guitar amp or um, something along those lines, sometimes the signal is just way too hot. Uh, other cases that I've come across, sometimes you have a singer that's incredibly powerful that uses a microphone very close. Sometimes uh, rap or hip hop uh, can lead to, uh, you know, using the microphone in that case can lead to a signal overdriving and you need to use the pad. To kind of show you what that looks like, I'm going to take my trusty microphone here, hooked up to a powered speaker through the MG06X, uh, and I'm going to simulate like I'm talking very loudly, very loudly, and you can actually see on the mixer that it is peaking the input. Peak, peak, peak. But if I apply the 26 dB pad, it makes the signal significantly weaker, but it also allows me to kind of fine tune my signal without getting some of that distortion. So by adding that pad in, I'm able to turn it up louder and have a lot cleaner signal without overdriving my input. That's not every microphone. That's just sometimes in certain situations it allows you to make that change if needed. Um, and the question also does come up, um, what about with a line level source? Like let's say for instance, I've got a Bluetooth receiver plugged in or a DJ that's feeding the mixer. Uh, are there cases where I would need a pad? Absolutely. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music here through our system. As you can hear, it's very distorted and unclear and there also is flash in the peak light. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply that pad By applying that pad, it brings down that signal into a more workable range that doesn't overdrive your preamp input, and then we're able to turn up the overall signal to get a much clearer, more dynamic input. Sometimes it does come up, uh, where else might I find a pad? Because not every mixer has a pad on it. Um, we do sell inline uh, pads that are sometimes 20 dB, 30 dB, that I can actually go in between um, your device on your XLR. Also, many times pads are built into direct boxes, which many times go between, say, an instrument and then your mixer itself. There are pads built into those. Um, and basically, pad does really nothing to impact your overall audio quality. It just brings down the overall volume. Other than um, a microphone or line level input, when else might I use a pad? And is it bad to use a pad on a mixer all the time? The answer is no. As long as you can get your sensitivity within the range of where you want it, a good strong signal, it's perfectly fine to pad an input and then to crank up the gain from there. Hopefully that helps you with what a pad is, what it means on the uh, little buttons that you see on the top of a mixer, when you might use them. Once again, I'm Nathan. Drop us a like down below and subscribe and let us know if we can help with anything. And until next time, guys, take care.